Hello everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello, I am Cass. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my current favorites slash ultimate favorites. First, books. Okay, so my favorite books, I only have two. I've only read like at least 10 books, 12 books. And I only have two favorites. I have them right here. First, we have Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I think a lot of people love this book. My experience with this book, I just love it. I love it so much. I also started annotating with this book, so I really enjoyed it. I annotated a lot, and the reason why I love this book, I love the story, I love the storytelling, I love the writing, and I love how it ended, and I was very entertained. I wasn't bored reading this. I rated it a 5 stars. Next, <laughs> I have mixed emotions about this book because first, what the fuck? I want to give a trigger warning. This book is not for everyone. I really don't recommend this book at all. But I love it for my own reasons and that's all I'm going to say. I really love it but it was really painful to read. Like, it's really heavy. And this is the reason why I'm in a reading slump right now. But in my opinion, I really really love this book. I think that's all I'm going to say. This is So Sad Today by Melissa Broder. It's like personal essays and then this one's a fiction book by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Next up we have films slash K-dramas. I'm so excited to talk about this. Okay, I really love talking about the K-dramas I love because... <laughs> First, okay, I've watched like at least 7 or 10 K-dramas and I have a few tops. Right now, my favorite K-drama is 2521 with Kim Terry and Nam Joo Hyuk. Ah! Hello! Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about the drama because the age gap is like an issue and it's really weird. But there's something about the drama that I really really like. It's nostalgic. It has like a great aura, I think. I don't know how to explain it. But there's something with that drama that is just so good. I cannot explain. I I really do love the chemistry of Kim Tae-ri and Nam Joo Hyuk. So. I really love it. My other favorite, my current favorite K-drama is Our Beloved Summer featuring Kim Dami and Choi Mo <laughs> My taste with K-dramas, I really like like dramatic and like action. I, do, I love that there's a lot of things happening with like romantic K-dramas. I do like them, it's just that I would rather want something dramatic with drama or like action or something it's just so good i love our beloved summer great chemistry great storytelling it's not like cringy and i love it ah uh, and then some of my other favorite k-dramas are vincenzo is so good it has like 20 episodes but it was so so good i loved it it's like a mafia yeah and fight for my way is another lovey-dovey romantic thing i don't think it will be everyone's cup of tea but i really loved fight for my way it it's like a slow burn, but I loved it. With my name, again, it's like action, revenge, plot. I love that. So those are like my favorite K-drama. But right now, I don't know how 2521 is going to end. If it's a good ending, then it might tie up with Our Beloved Summer. But right now, my favorite favorite is Our Beloved Summer. I just have to find out the ending of 2521. Then I will update you on my Instagram. Okay, next are my favorite movies slash film. Uh, I have like top four. My top four favorites are Little Women. I think this is like a well-known fact about me. I love Little Women. I haven't read the book, okay? So don't trash me about that. I love the adaptation of... What's her name? Greta Gerwig. <laughs> Greta Gerwig. Greta Thunberg. 2019 adaptation. That adaptation. I love that movie. It's like my comfort movie, my favorite movie of all time. Little Women is my favorite movie of all time. My next favorite movie is Whiplash. It's crazy. I was just hooked while I was watching it. I loved it. Next is Leon the Professional. I just, I really can't explain why I love it. I love the aesthetics. I love Natalie Portman in that. Like, slay. Slay. My last favorite movie is Requiem. Requiem? Requiem? for a dream. That movie is disturbing, but then I love the cinematography. I love the story. Not, I don't love it of, because of what happened, but I love the storytelling, cinematography. I loved it. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. I have a letterbox, so in case you want to follow me, you can follow my letterbox. Another favorite of mine 
is in the mood for love, please watch it. I think that this is something you should get from this video. Please watch in the mood for love. You won't regret it at all, I swear. Next up in the entertainment portion is music. So I don't really have favorite songs, although I do have songs on repeat. Number one, Lana Del Rey. My favorite song from Lana Del Rey is The Greatest in her album Norman Fucking Rockwell. Second, we have Phoebe Bridgers. My favorite Phoebe Bridgers song might be Halloween. And then we have here the 1975 and I've rediscovered Five Sauce. Here's a fun fact. I had a Five Sauce stan account back in 2015. <laughs> yeah. Five Sauce. Gracie Abrams. I love Gracie Abrams. Her. She has a new album, This Is What It Feels Like. I love her album. She's such a great singer songwriter i also like the song yes i'm changing by tame impala oh and the 1975 i always want to die sometimes and bts of course of course we know that look at them they're right here <laughs> i love 17 i've been listening to 17's discography recently my favorite 17 song has to be fear i'm still discovering their discography but right now my favorite song is fear and simple by Wuji. My bias is Hoshi and my bias records are DK, Mingyu, Joshua, and Minghao. Oh, and my BTS bias of course is Jungkook and my records are Yoongi and Namjoon. Also, I've been listening to more K-pop. Um, some K-pop groups I'm interested in or I listen to are ITZY, TWICE, Stacy Girls, it's going down. Um, TXT and Hyphen. Oh, and Espa. The last part of the entertainment are my favorite YouTubers. So I have like a lot of favorite YouTubers. This is just what I wrote in my journal. Number one, you have Nuria Ma. I look up to her so much. I love her vlogs. I love her style. I think I draw a lot of inspo from her. Next, we have Daiz or Daisy. I love her YouTube channel. I love the vibes. Her videos are very comforting. I love it. We have Sarang Ho. What's her name again? I forgot. I really love her videos as well. It's like it has like the same vibe with Daisy, and it's like very comforting, aesthetic, and cute. And I have Jasmine Lee. I love her. I love her personality. I love her videos. She's so entertaining. And then we have Moya Moweni. Her London Diaries are amazing, and I think right now she's in New York, so also fun. Also love your mom Ashley and her siblings. Do you know those cafe vlogs on YouTube where they just... I watch those to sleep at night. Uh, my favorite YouTuber that does that is Na Jing. Na Jing. Oh, I also love the Ha sisters. I love watching their content. I think they're just very funny and I love their dynamic. It's really fun. <gasps> Leia's Field Notes. I just think she's very wise and I get a lot of stuff from her. Like, I learn a lot of stuff from her. Those are some of my favorite YouTubers. I know I have a lot more but those are what I could think of right now. Moving on to the beauty fashion category. First, here are some of my favorite makeup products as a former makeup guru on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, my favorite base makeup. These two. You have to include this because these are like a trio. They have to be used all together so this is the glossier skin tint we have here the born this way oh no i use concealer this is really high coverage every time i have like breakouts or acne scars i use this to cover it up and then this is also one of my favorite concealers ever it is the milk makeup flex concealer i use the shade medium oh for primer my favorite primer is the milk makeup hydro grip primer i have to mention my favorite blush this is the kat von d everlasting blush in this shade fox glove i'm using it right now i love this i've seen it stay on my face a lot i think that's the main point it's everlasting next up for eyes eyes are very important every time i go out i have to have eyeliner so my favorite eyeliner as of the moment is from Tevian. This is the liquid eyeliner in the shade Virago. It has like a super fine tip which I really appreciate. Oh my god! War flashbacks! I'm kidding, it's not war flashbacks. And this is the best mascara of all time. This is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. This is waterproof. I use waterproof mascaras all the time because my lashes are kind of stubborn. So if I want them to stay up for a long time, I have to use waterproof. It's the best mascara because it makes my lashes look 
really long or it looks it makes me look like i'm wearing falsies so i really love this oh my favorite brow gel again i also have like thick eyebrows so this is my favorite brow gel this is the milk makeup kush brow gel and it's in the shade diesel my everyday eyeshadows are from ColourPop. this is a custom palette that i have um this is not like a palette you can buy with these shades um they're single shadows and some of these shadows I got from different ColourPop palettes. So I just really like the formula of ColourPop eyeshadows. Very cheap and good quality. So I would recommend that. My all-time favorite lip liners are from ColourPop. They have the greatest formula. Very smooth, pigmented, and cheap. So what more are you looking for? My lipstick, I use the Easy Mattes from Colorette. This is in the, sh it's in the shade Cool Down. The best shade for me as my my lips but better okay for skincare we have the the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent i have been using this for years now and it never left my skincare routine i think this is what keeps my skin at a better place <laughs> or it helps my skin a lot i have like a bad habit of not following my skincare routine every night but every time i break out this is helping it and then lastly it's a lip mask this is from 43 Beauty Coconut Overnight Lip Mask. This is yummy and very moisturizing on your lips. So every time I use this at night, when I wake up, I have luscious, sexy lips. Yeah. Accessories that I really love. I love rings. Some of these rings are just from Shopee. Oh, this ring in particular is from Enric Jewelry. And then this necklace is from um, Enric as well. It's like a playing card has a heart in the middle it's cute you have here this necklace it has a moon and then like a clip thing and then this side it's like stones and then this is like a chain so i think it's very unique that's why i got it and then the other one that i got from um en route is this medusa thing speaking of jewelry earrings piercings i mean i have 10 piercings right now um i got a new last week it's this one this is the oracle it's here in the middle i really love it it's new i just got it um i have three lobe earrings here i have a clench and i have a double helix um, on my right ear and then i have a triple lobe here as well and then the oracle my earrings my earrings i got a lot of questions about my earrings it's from shopee i will try to link it down below please remind me on the comments if there's no link in the description box next accessory um these are my headphones this is the jbl something headphones i can't really wear it because i got a new piercing so it will hurt but this is what it looks like very slay oh and this has like a long battery life so i love it my favorite perfume has to be Ari by Ariana Grande. I have her other perfumes there. I have Cloud, Sweet Like Candy, um, Thank You Neck, and uh, Moonlight. And this is my favorite, the original Ariana Grande perfume. This is the perfume I wear all the time. So if you're wondering what I smell like, this is what I smell like. We're not yet done with the fashion category. So we have my favorite clothing pieces that I could think of. I have here my favorite pair of low-rise jeans. Um, these are thrifted. This is what they look like. They're just denim light then in wash it's like a staple in my closet so love to her next we have my favorite shoes if you follow me on instagram i think you know the shoes that i'm going to be mentioning can you guess can you guess what it is my boots they are high platform boots these make me tall as fuck these make me feel better i got a lot of questions where i got this from i got this from shein it's really hard to find sizes for me because i have small feet i've had this for like a long time and it's not broken yet so i love it it's like stable i guess <laughs> i always wear these whenever i go out and these are my fake doc martens they're also platform i love platform shoes got them from shopee try to link them down below yeah i mean can you tell they're fake i don't know i mean i've never owned real doc martin these do the job they're quite heavy i guess i think all doc martens like real authentic doc martens are heavy but i don't mind i mean when i wear them it doesn't hurt my feet so i really love it the next thing i'm going to show you is a new purchase and i really really love it my platform white sneakers um having white sneakers in your closet or wardrobe is very necessary it's a necessity they're called the bubble jenny shoes um 
I think Jenny from Blackpink has worn these shoes, so they named this shoe after her. These are from Koi Footwear. These make me really tall. So, again, plus point. Next are tights and leg warmers. I love tights. It adds more flavor to your outfit. Especially when I wear a skirt or a dress, I think having tights will make it 10 times better. Love the tights. And arm warmers. I know it's really, really hot in the Philippines and you don't need arm warmers, but it's a great accessory if you ask me. And this one, I might say, is well known again on my Instagram. A lot of people have been asking me where this is. From. This is my black messenger bag. I've worn this with every outfit that I have. You can check my Instagram. This is from Shopee. How do this messenger bag? I guess it's more up my alley. It's more of my style than having like a baguette bag, I would, I would say. Another favorite clothing item are maxi skirts. This is a good maxi skirt that I found on Shopee as well. Long skirt. It has a slit. So I also have this maxi skirt. It's also it's gray. It has like a flower pattern and I love maxi skirt. Last in the fashion category are shades. These are my favorite pair of shades ever. I, I, it fits my personal style so I got it and I love it. And then the last category are like miscellaneous stuff that I can't really form into one group. So number one, bagels. <laughs> I haven't tried like a lot of bagels. I My, my usual go-to used to be Starbucks's everything bagel. I ordered it with cream cheese. The cream cheese is an additional 30 pesos for a tiny little tub. And then I always add strawberry jam. But then I discovered Tim Hortons bagel. The four cheese bagel. It has the same price as Starbucks, but I think the bagel is a lot bigger. And you don't need to add 30 pesos for the cream cheese. The 80 pesos includes the cream cheese. And they're very generous with the cream cheese. I don't know why I'm talking like this about bagels, but I, I love bagels. My favorite bagel so far is from... Tim Hortons. If there's like a bagel person, I mean a bagel baker or a person who sells bagels watching this video, please, please send me some bagels. I would love to try your bagel. I've tried Burger King. I've tried Army Navy. I've tried other restaurants. I've tried Chili's. And my favorite onion rings are from Chili's. They're like very thick and the breading went <laughs> Why am I talking so passionately about onions? The breading for the onion ring and chilies are like spiced, so it's it has more flavor. But like if I'm like wanting like plain, plain old onion rings, I would settle for Army Navy. Another favorite of mine are iced Americano. If you've been following me for a long time, I used to be a latte girl, a latte girly. But now I've converted to iced Americano. Recently, I got sensitive towards sweetness like drinks like sweetness of drinks i really don't like sweet drinks now another drink that i really love thai milk tea from chat time my specific order is thai milk tea zero percent sugar with pearls if you are curious about it try it out let me know what you think zero percent sugar i swear it's too sweet with pearls i love it <laughs> next thing journaling i love journaling i started journaling in january of 2022 and this is my first journal. I filled it up from January to March, half of March. I got a new one for the rest of the year or next three months. I thought I'd never be a journal person, but to be honest, it really helped me, I guess. It helped me express my thoughts or whenever I don't want to talk to anyone, I would talk to my journal or talk to myself. I think everyone deserves to get a journal. Like everyone has to get a journal. Just try. And maybe you'll become a journal bitch. But if it doesn't work, then fine. You don't really have to make it all pretty. You can just write down whatever you want. I write my to-do lists. I write some manifestations. I write goals. I write... I draw. <laughs> I paint. Um, I like to make collages of my days. I made a collage of my concert with my bestie. Uh, we went to the live showing in the cinema. And I got pictures printed. And I just put the ticket here. And some pictures and stickers really cute, don't you? This is so fun. And then I have this I Heart New York mug. Straight from New York. <laughs> They're pretentious. I feel like I look pretentious. Next little favorite, candles. I love candles. Scented candles. This one in particular is White Caramel Cold Brew. Um, my favorite scents for like candles are like vanilla, cinnamon, cookies, like baked goods. Another favorite thing, won't it, wouldn't be a surprise, but BTS albums or whatever. BTS merchandise it is, unofficial or official. I love it. I always see photo cards as a business. Like, if 
someone tells me not to buy an album, I would just say, this is an investment. Because later on, if I have to sell them, I could sell them for a good price. But I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna show you my binder. I'm a Jungkook, Yoongi, Namjoon, Hobi magnet from Love Yourself Answer. We have um, Map of the Soul Persona, Map of the Soul. We have Butter. We have the concept photo book for Map of the Soul, which I have the Jungkook. I bought this. I bought this. I didn't pull this, but I bought this. And then we have the holographic Jungkook. And we have a double Namjoon as well. Um, Tear. And then we have my B photo cards. Pieces of paper make me happy. Another thing I really love is Pinterest. I love spending my time just scrolling through Pinterest, making Pinterest boards, pinning photos, and listening to music. And my other favorites, of course, are my bunnies. We have Toki and this is Brioche. My babies! They are growing up really fast. I feel like a legitimate... I am a legitimate mother. Another favorite. <laughs> I, I have my best friend's skateboard here it's right there um it's not mine but of course it's my favorite because it reminds me of my best yeah thank you so much for watching me ramble about the things that i love and if you want to see more videos like this let me know and i will do it again in the next few months because probably things are going to change and i might like different things and i might hate some of the things i mentioned here and um, i love you please like the video comment down below whatever you want to say to me and subscribe because you're hot and sexy. Follow my Instagram, follow my Pinterest, Spotify, Letterboxd, and whatever else there is.